So in this lesson, we're going to continue our look at breakaway objects, and now we're going to take the grill here and break it apart into individual pieces. Now Maya does come with a terrible surface constraint, but I'm going to do this manually. I'm going to switch over to polys, and let's select all of the vertices, and choose Edit Mesh, Detach, Okay, and that will break all of those apart, and we'll just double check. I'm just going to grab a face, okay, and you can see we can just kind of pull that face right off. That's perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. And let's delete its history. Okay, now I can add an end cloth object to it, so we'll choose end mesh, create end cloth. And I'm going to use the defaults that it starts with here to make another end cloth material. And I want to make sure my self collide there is set to 1. And let's add a bounce value of 0.5, friction of 0.8, and just some stickiness there, just so that our pieces don't go flying all over the ground there and they actually come to a stop at some point. I'll leave all of my resistance alone uh, as well as that restitution angle because I'm going to come in with a fairly heavy rigidity. Now I'm going to use a value of 5 and check use polygon shells. And what this will do is it will apply these materials to each and every face. Okay, so they're not really going to be seeing each other, although they will collide with each other, but it's not going to act as one single surface. It's going to act as hundreds of individual surfaces, okay? And that's coming from that use polygon shells. And let's go on down here. Let's give it our normal mass there to make sure that it's a good and heavy object, and we will definitely be needing gravity, okay? So we'll keep that. So that's looking pretty good there. Now I'm going to add a transform constraint. So we'll just select the object, choose transform, and that will apply that. And we're going to use our same values here, although my glue strength for this is a little bit different. And this one I really, again, had to play with. I think all of them you're probably going to really have to play with simulation after simulation of testing. But the main one here with the glue strength was I was looking for a nice structure that still was in the end. So I had a lot of pieces break off, but there was still some substance of the object left. Okay, We can take that glue strength really low and just have it obliterate the grill very quickly. But I ended up with a value here of 0.09. And, and again, you know, you can play with this and get all sorts of different variations, uh, which is very cool. Um, some you might like, and then some, you know, you can kind of just swap out and see which ones work the best. So we're going to go with a value of 0.09 there. Okay, and then uh, we want to run our simulation. Now I've already cached these, but let's just take it back here and we're just going to hit play and make sure that nothing explodes on us. Okay, and bingo, it, it is going to, I forgot to do something. So good thing I'm checking there, so let's just go back. And the main thing I forgot to do was to take that transform constraint that's on my grill, and I want to place that under my locator. Okay, And again, that locator has all of my animation on it. Okay, Now, I do not need to place the grill geometry. It's not going to hurt if I do, but... I don't need to place it under the locator because the transform constraint is going to be doing all of the work. So I'm not relying on my locator animation to move the grill at all. All right, and we'll hit play again. And now we see that the grill is definitely going with our object. That's much better. Okay, and we still got those side, our headlights there that we haven't done anything with. All right, so I'm just going to take that back. Okay, we can save this off here. Okay, but I'm going to go ahead and open our scene that already has these pieces cached. All 
Okay, there we are. And let's just turn on those constraints again, just to make sure. And we want to make sure our nucleus is active, and it is. Okay, we should be looking pretty good. And we'll hit play. And let's go to a camera that's actually going to show us everything that we want to see. So I'll switch to, I have a camera here that's already constrained to my animation. And I'm going to select the pieces that we really want to focus on, just so we can see those a little bit better. And we'll hit play. And that's going to work off of my cache file. Okay, and we can see, boom, our side mirrors get thrown on our grill gets pretty well shattered there. Okay, and then it comes down to settling in its final position. And I still have a lot of the grill left there. Okay, which I kind of like just because it gives it a little bit more depth. Again, you know, there's always a difference between doing things cinematically and doing things realistically. Okay, we're going for that cinematic look. So some of the realism uh, gets thrown out the window there. But you know, the grill is it's not a it's not a head on collision. We're still going to have a lot of our little uh, grill parts there. OK, that takes care of our look at breakaway objects or our final look at breakaway objects.